Okay, so in this video, we're going to start uh, bridging the gap between twin motion and uh, possibly uh, if you're in a design class and you're working on CAD uh, software. And uh, there's a lot of approved file formats that uh, twin motion works with, and several of these you will be familiar with. Uh, if you're working with uh, 3ds Max, uh, several of the softwares you export as FBX. Uh, in Maya, I use Maya at school. You can export as an FBX model, and uh, you know preparing your model is kind of beyond the scope of this uh, software, this tutorial. So uh, there are tutorials on YouTube if you're like basically you're working in Revit and you want to how do I prepare my model for uh, for uh, export to FBX or even export to twin motion. There's a lot of tutorials on that, okay? So here are the preferred file formats, FBX, OBJ, SketchUp, and Cinema 4D, okay? And if I will include this link in, uh, in uh, the Google or the classroom that I'm building. Um, otherwise, it's you just can Google preferred file formats or twin motion and you can get it, okay? So it even shows, you know, uh, the, the different kind of CAD programs and the type of supported file formats. Okay, so you can see, for example, AutoCAD doesn't export as FBX, but there's a workaround here where you can bring in an a, a, a AutoCAD file, a DXF file, and bring it into, uh, you know, NaviWork or 3ds Mac, and then convert it to an FBX. So in other words, you can use your AutoCAD projects into in motion. Um, some of the softwares that uh, I, I've seen used, uh, Revit for sure. Um, another one that's uh, free for schools is ArchiCAD, which is very powerful. Uh, so very similar to SketchUp. Uh, our school board uses SketchUp, so I'm going to be focusing on SketchUp uh, for a little bit. So uh, probably the best case scenario if you're in a design class is you teach. I know that in our school that we teach them how to make SketchUp uh projects uh, so we teach them how to do basic uh, houses so um, I went to a SketchUp's website 3ds uh, um, warehouse.sketchup.com and again I'll include a link to that uh, it's quite a, a good so I'll just type house so you know any one of these type of houses uh, you can download them and bring them into your so here's an example of a house now, one thing that I know is I played around a little bit, not each model is graded equal. So sometimes you want to have the students uh, check it out and bring it in and see if it works. But anything that's downloaded as a SketchUp file uh, works. So SKP file will work. Um, there's other great, really excellent website is a SketchFab. So uh, also a lot of free models there. And these are really high quality models. Okay, these are professionally designed models. And both of these websites are I really like is you can just use your Google account. And again, for our school board, that's an issue as we don't want students always creating uh, multiple accounts with different companies uh, for security reasons. So once I'm logged in, uh, I can go and get one of these houses. So let's, uh, this one's really nice. So let's click on it. Um, just a few questions, industry. I'll just type education and Canada. Okay. Oh, I guess I have to write something here. Okay. So I'll just download this house, SketchUp 2020 model. And there it is. Okay. So this is a SketchUp file, FBX, and remember OBJs and uh, Cinema 4D files are preferred file format. Okay, so let's import that. Um, I'll import this one actually. So I brought this one in before and it worked really well. So let's go with that. So, uh, and uh, one of the potential uses is you could use this in any class. Like uh, I'm a history teacher by uh, trade. And so uh, there's a lot of heritage models. So uh, world heritage sites, uh, world heritage structures that you can go and get. So really cool. So I'm gonna change this to keep the hierarchy and I'm gonna bring in uh, different uh, fix the UV textures. I'm gonna click yes. And so there you go, the church is brought in. And so this I got from the 3D warehouse. So there's, a, I mean, there are hundreds and hundreds of models. 
Now they don't always all work. So that's important to be aware. So, um, yeah, so that's how you bring in a model. If you, uh, I encourage you to experiment a little bit. Um, again, I encourage you to go, uh, same thing with sketch, uh, sketch lab. You can log in with your Google account. So let's just uh, put my Google account or log in with Google, do that. And uh, they often have free models as well. So you can type in uh, uh, free models, a lot of FBXs. So uh, really cool. Uh, and there are a lot of other places. Another really, really cool place to get some models. And I'll just plug this really quickly in the marketplace in Unreal Engine. In the free section, so permanently free section, uh, there are hundreds of models. So you can type uh, models and let's see what come up, 3D models. So, well, surprisingly, there is, there, I know there's a lot. Okay, so like you would have to browse through them. For example, this broadcast studio, you could bring that in uh, and drop it in. I know it's an FBX format. There's also cars, which, by the way, you don't need to bring cars in because they're already built in the twin motion. But if you were looking for some cool architecture, uh, probably your best bet is a 3D warehouse. And, and that's what I'm going to be focusing on for this project. Okay, if you have any questions, please let me know.